So uh, let's just kick everything off by talking about this uh, fight you had with Clements at UFC 145. Okay. Um, you know, I haven't watched the fight, so I'm going by memory here. Sure. I, I usually like to wait a couple months so I'm well removed and then go back and study. Um, but uh, the first round I thought went pretty well for me. Um, you know, I, I was probably striking about even with him, was able to score a takedown, was scoring pretty good. Um, actually stood us back up. The ref brought it back to the feet, and uh, he clipped me with a really good spinning back, or uh, spinning back kick, excuse me, and uh, knocked the wind out of me, dropped me. Um, I think it was probably a liver shot, but I'd have to go back and watch it to confirm that. Um, probably stole the round with that, honestly. Um, it was, I, I was definitely winning up until that point, but when he dropped someone, it's a pretty big momentum swing. Uh, second round went really well for me. Uh, controlled the takedowns, got some pretty good ground and pound off. Um, got some dominant positions, even got close to finishing at times. And uh, honestly, the end of the second and most of the third are kind of a blur to me. So I'm guessing I got some concussion somewhere. But uh, from what I remember and what I've been told, I kind of took a beating in the third, a lot of hard shots. When can we expect to see you back in the cage? I'm looking at October, November. Um, I don't have a firm date or opponent, but uh, my manager has been in contact with Joe Silva, and they're looking at a November, uh, October fight for me. And uh, I, I've pretty much the last two, three weeks, I drug up from work, and I've started my training camp, so I'll be training full-time until then. Okay, let's play some fantasy fight, man. If you could fight anyone in MMA, past pre or present, who would it be and why? <laughs> wouldn't mind fighting George Moss at all. Um, not a huge fan of the guy. Um, he was real cocky before his fight with me, cocky after. Um, and I think for people who saw that fight, I, I really think I beat George Moss at all. So it's, it's a frustrating loss on my record, and it's also a guy who beat me who I'm just, on a personal level, not a fan of. So that would be an ideal fight for me. If I could, if I could fight George Moss at all, I would... Uh, I'd probably give a discount rate for that. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. So can we get a prediction on the uh, Chael Sohn and Anderson Silva 2 rematch? Oh, man, that's a tough one. Um, I'm personally pretty good friends with Chael. I really like him. I'm a fan of him. So I'm, I'm probably going to be pulling for him in this fight. I am going to be pulling for him in this fight. Um, but I have him as an underdog. I have, uh, you know, if I was an odds maker, I'd probably put it at about one uh Minus 150, plus 120 in uh, Anderson's favor. So I think it'll be a good fight. Um, I'm hoping he's able to duplicate, you know, the strategy used last time. But uh, it's, it's tough to go five rounds and not get caught in something. Past weekend, there were two fight cards. Um, but Twitter Universe was blowing up over the uh, Maynard versus Guida fight. Did you check it out? I, I did watch the... Uh, the third, fourth, and fifth rounds, I, I don't know what I was doing, but I missed the first two. I heard the first two were, were the worst rounds of the fight, and I heard there wasn't a whole lot of contact made, a lot of uh, a lot of movement, and maybe only a few strikes each round. Um, so I, I, I'm a big fan of the Clay's buddy of mine. He's from the Chicago area, so I usually pull for him. Um, that being said, I'm not a huge fan of that heavy movement style, that stick and move. I mean, I... Whatever it takes to win, I'm. I don't judge fighters on wins, and uh, I think that may have been the best strategy for him in that fight. But you know, from a fan's perspective, it's not my favorite to watch. It's pretty impressive, though, that Guida could do that for five rounds, isn't it? Like this guy's cardio is sick. The, the guy's a machine. It's, I, I and honestly, I, I know he's taking a ton of criticism for that strategy. The strategy had put him in a position to maybe steal the decision, and I actually think he hurt him in the fifth with that head kick. I think had he pressed right at that moment, he might have never put him away. So, you know, you put yourself in it, you give yourself a lot of chances to land that shot. You know, he doesn't have a ton of power, so it's hard even if you give yourself five rounds to hope to land that shot. But, you know, in the fifth, he did land a shot that hurt Gray pretty bad. So. Let's talk about uh, your career. What would you consider your signature win? Signature win. Um, that's a tough question. Um, real tough question. Uh, I, I probably have about ten wins that I think are really respectable. I mean, the fighters I I think are maybe not quite contenders, but right on the cusp. I think George uh, 
Jorge Santiago was a nice win. It's been a long time ago. I think Chris Wolf. Um, Derek Noble, both my Carla Prater wins. Um, if you ask me for a signature out of those, I don't know. Steve Berger was, not too many people saw that fight. It was in a, a small gym in Chicago, but it was an amazing fight. I mean, you know, I just traded punches for, for 15 minutes. We were both, both had broken noses, so it got really bloody. Um, crowd was standing up pretty much the entire fight cheering. So, I mean, that's up there. If you ask me to choose one, I wouldn't know what to tell you. Okay, man, final question here. You go to bed tonight. You wake up. It's November 12th, 1993. You're in the first ever UFC event. It's an eight-man tournament. How would you do? Uh, I think I'd probably be the favorite, you know. Uh, I hate to have Gerard Gado eye gouging me or, or, uh, <laughs> or uh, Poise Gracie pulling my hair, but I, I think I would be a favorite in that tournament. You know, I, the sport's evolved a lot, you know. If you look at a guy like Gerard stayed in the sport a little bit after that, Boy, those were, to me, the top two fighters in that tournament by a long shot. I, although Ken, I guess Ken was pretty solid at that point, too. In fact, I would say Ken was probably the second best after Hoyce. But uh, I, even those fighters evolved so much from from that early UFC to, you know, I I think both of them have fought in the last four or five years. And they are a lot better athletes physically. You know, strength training has gone up a lot. Um, uh, physical preparation, I mean, I... It's just a whole other ball game. You know, a lot of college wrestlers in the sport now, and uh, people train full time for it. So, yeah, I think I'd be a favorite. I'd probably be a household name if I'd gotten to that tournament. Okay, another question for you is: Nowadays, you see guys into their late thirties, some guys even in their forties, competing. Do you think, though, over the next uh, few years, that's going to stop? Uh, that's a tough question. Uh, there's guys in every sport that are competing, you know, into their, you know, even boxing. I, guys make their names for themselves when they're younger, but they're still fighting into their, you know, late 30s, even 40s. Yeah, that's true. Um, I, I don't think there will be a huge decline in older fighters competing in the sport. Um, I, I think had that happened, or was that going to happen, it probably already would have. You know, you already have that next generation of fighters, you know, people in their, you know, late teens, early 20s that grew up on the sport, trained their whole life on it. And they're not really replacing the guys that are, you know, in their late 30s or, or knocking them out real, you know, ending their careers early. So I, I don't, I mean, I think you'll still see fighters, you know, fighting in their 30s and 40s. Although as a fighter now in my 30s, it's tough getting up for training camp. Injuries sneak up on you a lot more than when you're in your early 20s. Oh, okay, hey, man. Anything you'd like to promote, throw out your Twitter or Facebook. Uh, I have a Facebook. I have Keith Wisniewski. Um, nothing really to promote except for uh, my teammates and my team, Doom and Valley Tudo. Um, a lot of our guys are doing really well right now, so keep an eye on us. Okay, Keith. Thanks for giving me the time. Not a problem, brother. You have a good night. You too. Bye. Take care.